with Azonomi Online Mathematics. Today we want to talk about vectors. So we say that a vector quantity is any quantity that has both magnitude and direction. That is, it has some kind of value and it has a direction attached to it. So, for example, quantities such as velocity. Displacement, acceleration, and force are all examples of what vectors. But at least you can be able to find the, the magnitude, the size of the quantity, and you should be able to know the direction in which it is going. So if we take a vector to be in any x, y plane, for example, if I have x, y plane, and I have this origin stated as a point A. So if a point A is traveling with this direction to the point B, for us to say this is a vector, we need to show the direction. What is the direction from which point to which point? So in this case, we are moving from point A to point B. So the, a vector can be represented this way, vector A, B. Simply put, this has magnitude because we can be able to measure the distance between the two points. We can measure the distance between A and B. Then we can also tell the direction in which we are moving. So, you can say that if this is our x, y plane, this can also be taken as what? The north. So, we are going to move in a, a bearing of either 30 degrees, 50 degrees, 60 degrees to the direction of what? B. So, this is an example of uh, a vector. So, vectors are represented by block letters as capital letters A, B with an arrow. The arrow shows the direction. From which point are you moving to which point? That is the, the direction aspect of it. Now, we can also see that the, from the point A to B is the main direction. We can also find a displacement, meaning change of route. You have to change the direction in which you are moving. I can move along this axis, which is our X axis, then forward it on the parallel axis of Y to be the same point. So if I indicate this, which is perpendicular to the X axis, so if I indicate the point and I have N at this place, I can say that going to the point B, there is a direct route we can pass, that is from A to B. Now what if you want to find a displacement, a change in route? Meaning, I'm going to move from A to N as a vector, we have the magnitude and direction, then add that direction to N, B. It is the same as the actual direction that I will be able to, to take. The movement from A to B could also be the sum of the movement of A to N. Maybe you want to rest then you move up toward the B. So in this case, there could be a displacement in direction. So we displace our movement from along the X axis, then we also forward it upward. So this would be moving to the right on the X axis, then moving upward on our Y axis to meet that point. So in this place, the AB equals to AN, vector AN plus and B become what they call a resultant vector, the result of moving direct route from A to B. That is our resultant vector. So in this sense, if I have any vector, let's say I have vector A, B, I have vector B, C, and I have vector A, C. Simply put, I'm changing the values of this, so from A to B, B to C. If I'm asked to find the resultant of this vector, it is just like taking 
the last root, you can see from A to B, there's a missing link. That's a direct movement. From A to B will be our direct movement as a displacement. So vector AC will become vector AB plus vector BC. That is our resultant vector. So to find a resultant vector, it is always the end points are always three. So we have the beginning, you move to N, then we forward to the B. So any vector that has N point to be three can be taken like in a triangle form. We can also say that this is a resultant vector. So per definition, a resultant vector will be the sum of the displacement of the, the vectors. Displacement from A to N plus N to B. So we can say our resultant vector will become A B as a vector is equal to A N plus N B. So this is what we call a resultant vector. So in we can be giving values of this, that is the magnitude. The magnitude will be the measurement from here to B. The magnitude of A N, that will be measurement from A to N. Then the magnitude from A N to B will be exactly the resultant vectors that you have. Thank you.